Woo! It is super cold outside. <laughs> and I'm sorry I'm complaining about how cold it is. Um, okay, I'm not driving my vehicle, so I don't know where the temperature thing is at. Oh, 48 degrees. Oh my God. And it's supposed to get to 60. So it is supposed to get a lot warmer. So hopefully it'll happen sooner than later. But anyway, so it is cold outside, but I'm so glad that I brought my sweater and long sleeves. Um, and I think that most of the Space and Rocket Center is indoors. So um, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go Space and Rocketing. What do you say? I'm excited. Woohoo! maybe coming early. I didn't go to Old Navy. Um, I might do that after here. I just thought maybe coming early it wouldn't be crowded. Mm, I was wrong. <laughs> it's crowded. But it just opened up at 9 o'clock and it's just now like 9.30-ish or 9.40-ish. Not exactly sure, but um, I'm gonna go in woo, and warm up and get my ticket. But welcome to the Space and Rocket Center. <laughs> She's excited. And there's a rocket. And there's a stealth fighter over there. And there's this. Alrighty, so I got the $30 ticket where I can go see the IMAX theater. So I'm looking for the IMAX, which starts like right now. Mmm, and I smell popcorn. So I'm like gonna do the whole thing today. I'm excited. I'm excited to do the whole thing. So it was $30 to see the movie plus tour everything. So that's how much it costs for all of that. And then after I'm done with the movie, we'll come back out and we'll do some touring. Oh wow, look at that. It's like um, soaring. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh. So the movie that I was just watching is that film right there. It's going round and round. I was getting a little bit dizzy in there, so I decided to walk out. <laughs> but I like that they have uh, Darth Vader and who is it? That's a, uh, I don't know what those white people are called. But yeah, there's Star Wars there. <laughs>
of there that's pretty cool like a simulator oh that's really neat would love that that is really cool more of the space shuttle from over here that looks really cool how neat and way up there now we get to go inside of here very cool Look how cool this is Treadmill. That's what that is. Oh. That must be sleeping. Mm -hmm. Is 
She walked that way, honey. So this is what you get to do when you're in space camp. This is all like flight simulators. This is really cool. How cool is that? And this is what it looks like in here. Very cool. Oh, there's a kid in a suit right up there. Oh, there's some moonwalkers. That's funny. <laughs> Bunch of little wannabe astronauts. <gasps> oh, cute. There's a big rocket. Isn't that amazing? Like, that's what they look like. That's the size of them. But they look so small and tiny from, like, Earth. That is amazing. So cool, though. Very pretty. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way. So this is underwater astronaut trainer. Wow. Oh, whoa. That would freak me out just a little bit. This is the simulator. This is what's right there behind it. That's the big water one, but this is like a little replica of it. Oh my gosh. Crazy. So this is their like outside area. Um, I could have just walked around on all the other side, but there's also a little snack bar in here called, called Mars Grill. So you can eat here if you want to. That's very cool. Look how cool that looks. Neato. So we're gonna go inside this building here. I'm not exactly sure, oh, it's Saturn, whatever the V means, hall entrance. I never know Roman numerals. <laughs> this is what I remember seeing last time I was here. That's awesome. That is freaking cool. Look at that thing. That is huge. Huge, and it goes all the way down. That is so cool. Really neat. All right, so this is the inside of a little. Look at that. Look how tight that is inside of there. There would be no way. Mm -mm. There's a seat. There's no way. that thing. Wow. Look at 
that thing is still so impressive. The connecting part of it. Wow. Underneath the engine. Has been the nerve center of the race to test the rockets oh. that will fly the first humans to the moon. Werner von Braun and his team, along with engineers from Rocketdyne, have been designing and testing the F-1 engine for years, trying to solve the problems caused by scaling up to such a huge and powerful engine. Getting to this point has not been easy. Violent vibrations caused by the igniting fuel, what engineers call combustion instability or chugging, have been a nagging problem for the F-1. During many tests, these vibrations have literally ripped apart the engine, setting the program back. But now, in order to meet President Kennedy's deadline, it has been decided to test all five together, two months ahead of schedule. Mm. A failure during this test could end our hopes of getting to the moon by the end of this decade. Attention all personnel. Attention all personnel. Clear the test stand area. Clear the test stand area. Looks like the test conductor, Robert Sadler, has checked with his guys on their consoles to confirm all systems are go. We are about to witness history wow. in the making. Automatic countdown is up there. T minus seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fragment. Look at that. I don't know how well you guys can see that or not, but look at that. It's like all burned up. Look at this side. It's all burned up. 
and it was connected at one point. Hmm. That's really cool. This is a space suit. Father and son space flights. Oh, that's neat. So this is a mobile quarantine facility. So pretty well known, I guess, if you anybody saw oh, wow. the HBO series uh New York to the Moon would uh, recognize that. We had to be you know, we couldn't live with each other that long and then mm. there are beds and stuff we back there. Oh the kitchen. Wow. We joined the same squander. This is a lunar module simulator. That's crazy. Look inside there. I know there's a glare. I'm trying not to keep a glare. Look at that. That is so cool. It was very, very cool and interesting. I really, really enjoyed walking through there. I definitely think this is worth twenty-five dollars. It's an extra third. It's an extra five dollars if you want to see the IMAX theater. And like I said earlier, with the IMAX, I kind of got a little dizzy with the IMAX. I'm just dealing with dizziness, and that just kind of didn't help. So, but anyway. That place back there is definitely worth it because you can actually like walk underneath that big shuttle and you can actually experience the like sound. Probably not, it's probably louder than that, but nonetheless, it's pretty cool. They've also got like um, a little ride here, it's called Space Shot. I think Brian and I did that when we first moved here several years ago. Um, but anyway, there's some rockets and stuff back there, helicopters and all kinds of stuff. And here is like a little, um, like a little map uh, telling you where to go. Rocket launch, rover course, lunar crater, space shot simulator. I am headed out now though and headed to the gift shops. So I actually want to get some space food while I'm here. It's $4.95 for space food. They've got ice cream and they've got like a sandwich. So I think I'll do, oh this is an ice cream sandwich and that's like freeze dried ice cream. So I'll just get one. I think I'm just gonna try this one. I don't think they have different flavors ready to eat. So I'll try this one. And then they have mugs here too, which is so cool. Welcome to Huntsville Rocket City. $21.95 for the mugs. Cute. This one's really cute too. Cute. They've got like pens and poker chips and magnets and I'm actually looking for a magnet. I'm not sure which one I want yet, but I'll find one. And this one is like $6.95. These are $3.95. Very cool. They've got patches and stuff too, which is really cool. I love them. They're about $5. Some of them are 7 So I think some of them are 4 I think those are really, really cool. I love all of those. What a neat thing to have. Very cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, that will 
conclude my little tour of the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Angie Wonderland. Bye!